Hey everyone, this is Todd Pettibone from the Orchards Church Plant. I uh, just want to give you an update uh, where we're at and what's going on. <clears throat> and this is actually going to be more of a, a vulnerable um, just uh, post of uh, telling you some of uh, the struggle that I've been dealing with and kind of what God has spoken to me through, the, through that struggle. Um, so last week um, I went to the Church Multiplication uh, Network Conference the CMN conference. It's the first ever. Uh, it's for church planters who are planting churches um, with within the Assemblies of God. And so um, I just want to, I, I went there with the struggle of trying to figure out how to gather people, um, how to to create an event that's exciting and fun for people to, to want to come and be a part of. And um, I, I talked to church planters. I talked to people who are um, uh, partnering church, partnering with church planters and, and trying to figure this whole thing out and uh, all their ideas were really great and um, but there was nothing that was really sticking with me um, just saying okay that's that's what I needed so um, on Tuesday night uh, we were in service at Calvary Church in um, Dallas Texas Irving um, Pastor Daly um, is his last name and um, he was talking about um, building a house, and uh, often in in the church world we we focus on leadership and trying to build leaders and raise up leaders. And um, he was just talking about um, starting from the top down to the foundation, um, and he talked about uh, leadership and then self leadership, and then he got to the to the foundation and he said, "But have we forgotten the foundation?" of building churches is about Jesus. And um, it was just a, a powerful moment. And for me, um, that brought me back to the question, what does Jesus say about um, raising up people and, and getting people to, to gathering people to, to be a part of a church? And um, I was just reminded of um, Matthew chapter four, uh, toward the end of the chapter, uh, Jesus is gathering the disciples and he says, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And uh, in that moment, I knew um, that was for me. Just if you just come follow me, uh, I will make you fishers of men. And, and as a church planner, that's encouraging to know that if we just continue to pursue Jesus, that he'll do the work that needs to be done um, and he'll give us the insights that we need. And so then I went to that portion of scripture, and, it, and that's in Matthew chapter 4. And the very beginning of that chapter is where Jesus is going out into the wilderness on a, on a fast for 40 days. And for me, uh, some of you may have seen on, my, um, on Facebook or whatever that um, I'm in the middle of a fast. And so for me, that was just a reminder that Jesus knows right where I'm at. He knows what I'm going through. He knows what I need. Um, and both those two combined um, aspects of, of Scripture in Matthew chapter 4, both him saying, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And then me going to that, that chapter, and right at the beginning of that chapter, he's in the middle of a fast and praying. And, and um, I just want to encourage you today, wherever you're at, Jesus knows right where you're at. And he can, he can speak into your life if you allow him. Um, but the other side of it is sometimes he doesn't come on our time. He didn't come right when I was talking to all those um, people about planting a church. He didn't come prior to that when I'm, Lord, God, how do I do this? How do I do this? What do I do? But he came right when um, I was just consistently and continually pursuing him. And so that's my encouragement to you today. Just continue to pursue Jesus. Um, let him know your qu requests. Let him know what you're thinking or what you're feeling. And uh, he's going to answer you. Um, it may not be in your time, but he will answer you and he'll be right on time. And so that's encouragement for today. God bless you. Thanks for praying for us. Uh, be praying for us as we take that next step in the process of trying, still continuing to try to find a place to meet. Um, but also uh, gathering people. Thanks so much. God bless you. Have a great day.